Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name's Adrian Reed. Our theme for today is upper body arms. Guys, we're going to approach this from a little bit of a different angle today. We're doing a lot of upper body work where we've been doing a lot of push-ups. We're going to kind of go toward the front of the shoulders today. So when you're ready, we're going to use a counter pose to start. So we're just going to go ahead and straighten up your legs and do a staff pose. And I want you to do a nice, easy forward fold to start. So don't worry about form. Just let your torso fall forward. We're going to do quite a bit with the front shoulders today. So when you're in this forward fold, I want it really to be about relaxing and rolling forward with your shoulders. And if you want, you can even grab your shoulders with your hands and massage your shoulders a little bit as we get a little more deeply into this. So just another breath or two there. Looking good, everybody. Nice and relaxed. Use this as an opportunity to calm your breath, quiet your mind, and just relax onto your mat for a moment. And then from there, go ahead and draw your torso upward. We're gonna reach beh behind with your hands. Have your fingertips facing toward your body. I'd say your hands should be about six or eight inches behind you. And we're gonna bend your knees. We're gonna come up into a reverse table. So when you're ready, start putting um, pressure onto your feet and then draw your navel upward. While you're there, relax your head and neck back. So this works the front part of your shoulders. We're gonna go here for 10 breaths. See if you can engage your quads, the top of your thighs. Draw your navel upward. Relax your head and neck back. We're going a couple more breaths here. Looking good, Steph. Keep that navel floating upward. So engage your core and work your arms here. Beautiful. Exhale. Go ahead and drop your hips down to the mat. Straighten up through your legs and go for that nice, easy forward fold. So we're working legs a little bit here while you're in your forward fold, but I want your attention, your focus to be on rolling forward and relaxing through with your shoulders and upper body. One more deep breath there. Looking good, everybody. And from there, we're gonna go into that same pose. We're gonna change it up a little bit. So hands are gonna float behind, fingertips are facing towards your body. This time, we're gonna keep legs straight. So as you float up into it, so draw your navel upward, I want you to come forward with your feet and try and have your toes touch the mat. Navel's floating up, head and neck is relaxed. We're going 10 good breaths here. So relax through your breath. Keep your hips nice and straight. Keep your legs nice and straight if you can. If this is too much for you, I want you to drop back to that first pose with knees bent. Looking good. Don't let your upper body sag. Don't let your hips sag. We're going two more breaths here. Nice job. Relax your head and neck and sink into that, guys. Good, Kristen. And exhale. Go ahead and drop your hips down to the mat and fall forward into that easy forward fold. You may be starting to feel that a little bit through your shoulders, so feel free to massage your shoulders a little bit if you'd like. You may also notice it through your wrists, so you can roll your wrists a little bit here if you'd like to do that as well. When you're ready, let's float back up into that same position that we started with. So hands behind, fingertips facing towards your body. We're gonna bend your knees. We're gonna float up into that starting position. Let's let everybody get there. And then we're gonna kick your right leg forward. Try and keep your knee up at hips height. You don't want that leg up too high. And let's go five breaths there. Try not to sink downward with your navel, navel and bend through the hips when you're there. Exhale, go ahead and float that foot down to the mat. Same thing, so let's extend forward with your left leg. And five good breaths there. Keep your head and neck relaxed, almost like there's a string that's just extending your navel upward. So keep that torso floating up. Work through the arms and shoulders. Give me one more good breath there, guys. I know you can do it. Go ahead and drop that foot down. Drop your hips down to the mat. 
fall into that easy forward fold. Again, feel free to roll your wrists here, massage your shoulders. You may be noticing a little bit more again through those shoulders. So relax in and use this as a counter pose to really fall and relax through. All right, this next pose is a little bit more work through the legs, but you're definitely gonna feel it through the upper body as well. Float your hands behind, fingertips facing towards your body. Once again, you're gonna keep your legs straight, so we're back in that straight-legged position. When you're ready, navel comes up. This is a kicker in the calves, so when you're ready, right leg comes up, we're going five breaths there. Pow, that's a hit in the left calf there. Keep that navel floating upward, relax your head and neck, nice calm breath. This is a difficult, intense pose, just relax through it. Beautiful, exhale, drop that foot down. Give a breath in center, float your navel upward, shake it out a little bit if you need to. Left leg comes up, let's get five good breaths there. So here's the thing with yoga, you're going at your pace, go five of your breaths. If this is easy for you, breathe slow and calm. If this is a little tough for you, breathe quick, kick quicker breaths and be done with it. Drop your foot down, guys, you're all waiting for me. Hips down, down to the mat, relax into that easy forward fold. Shake that out a little bit. So relax through your head and neck, relax through your shoulders. And just relax into your breath. We're going one more nice relaxed breath there. Good job, everybody, by the way. From there, come on up into a table position. So knees are under hips, wrists are under shoulders. We're gonna float forward into an eight points touching. So you want your hands a little further forward if you need to. I want you to roll your elbows in by your rib cage. So when you're ready, guys, go ahead and float downward with your chin and float forward with your body. You're staying low to the mat and then inhale, roll forward into a nice up dog. Give me two breaths there. So try and open through your front body and relax into that stretch. Shoulders are back and down. Fabulous, exhale, float on back into table. Let's get a total of 10 of those in, so let's do nine more. We're not gonna hold Cobra so much. So when you're ready, inhale, float down with your chin, stay low to the mat, float forward into a nice open-bodied up dog, and then exhale, float back with your hips. Let's go right back into table. Inhale, float forward with your chin, keep those elbows rolled in, float forward, up dog, beautiful. Exhale, float right back into table. Inhale, float forward with your chin, roll forward, stay low to the mat, up dog, open through your front body. Exhale, float back, table, take a deep exhale there. Inhale, float forward with your chin, roll low to the mat, open through your heart, up dog. Exhale, float back, table. Inhale, lower down, work through those arms. You may notice this through the triceps, up dog, open through your front body. Exhale, float on back, table. Let's get three more, inhale. Low down to the mat, get as low as you can. Open through your front body, up dog. Shoulder blades are back and down. Exhale, float back, table, beautiful. Inhale, get down as low as you can. Tuck those elbows in by your rib cage. Open through your heart when you get into cobra or up dog. Exhale, float back. Last one, guys, looking good. Inhale, float forward. Give me two breaths in up dog when you get there. So again, shoulder blades are back and down. You're really working on opening through your upper body, through your front body. Beautiful. Exhale, float on back. Sorry, Tina. Table. Relax a breath or two. Let's drop hips to heels. Beautiful. We're going to do a little bit of work with Gomu Kasana next. So when you guys are ready, go ahead and float your torso up. And we're gonna go right leg on the bottom, left leg on the top. So when you're ready, let's float into Gomugasana, cow face, kind of a funny English name. So you're trying to get knee on top of knee. The more um, loose you are through the hips, the more you can open through your legs. So if you're tighter through the hips, your heels are in by your hips. And if you're looser through the hips, your heels extend forward. Okay, let's just get a little bit of a forward fold in here and then we're gonna add upper body in. So let's not go too much with the hips here. So inhale, I just want you to lengthen through your torso and then exhale, go ahead and walk your hands forward and let's get a couple good breaths there. We're not gonna hang out here too long. I'm just trying to warm you up a little bit through the hips before we add upper body into this. 
So one more breath here. Just relax through, let your upper body completely let go. Try and give a little bit of release for the work that we did through the front of your shoulders. And then exhale, come on up. Guys, some of you may need a strap. Sorry about that. So if you need a strap for the spine, feel free to grab it. We're going to go left arm on the top behind your head and right arm sweeps underneath. You're trying to get hand to hand. If you cannot hold hands with yourself, use a strap. You hold the strap with your upper hand and then grab it with your lower hand, exactly like Kristen is. See if you can bring your left elbow behind your head. I want you to look up and give a nice arch back there. So you notice that changes the stretch to your lower shoulder blade. And then exhale, slowly fall forward there. Beautiful, we're going five deep breaths there. Head and neck is relaxed. Working hips, working shoulders, really engaging in your breath. Beautiful. Not a very nice name, cow face, but a very nice pose. Fabulous, give me two more deep breaths there. Nice job, Tina. After your second breath, inhale, sweep your torso up slowly, open through your arms, drop that strap to the side, shake that out a little bit. When you're ready, straighten through your legs, shake your legs out a little bit, we'll get that same thing on the other side. Beautiful. Let's go left leg on the bottom, right leg on the top this time. So go Mukhasana on the other side. Again, as a reminder, if you're tighter through the hips, your heels are in by your hips. If you're looser through the hips, extend your legs forward. Inhale, let's get that forward fold in first. Just sweep up nice and long with your spine and then go ahead and fall forward. You don't have to bring arms overhead if you don't want to, but heck, if you want to, Jace, I say go for it, man. Try and keep your sit bones flat on the mat. Try and let your torso just completely rest over your legs. So you're not worried about form here at all. Tina, I'm hitting you a lot on this one. <laughs> Picking on you a little bit there. And from there, let's introduce arms into that. So when you're ready, let's float up with your torso. Right leg is on top, so we're gonna bring your right arm overhead. So again, if you need to use a strap heel here, feel free to do that. You hold the strap with your upper hand and grab it with your lower hand. I want you to bring your right arm a little bit behind your head. Look up, give a nice arch back there. And then exhale, slowly fall forward there. So really taking your time with that forward fold. You'll notice as soon as you do fall forward, it really brings it to your lower shoulder blade instead of through your uh, rotator cuff. Nice job, head and neck are relaxed, upper body's relaxed, just breathing through that. Nice focus on upper body, nice focus on hips, so this is a fabulous pose to really work the major sockets in your body. It's definitely fabulous, you feel nice and relaxed. Exhale, come on up, release your arms, open them nice and wide, draw your legs forward, shake that out a little bit. When you guys are ready, let's come on up into a standing position. So we're gonna do a little bit of work with Warrior Three, Virabhadrasana Three. The nice thing about Warrior Three, when you introduce some new hand movements into it, is it really helps to square your hips a little bit more aggressively. If you can, I want you to float into reverse Namaste. If you cannot, go ahead and grab elbow to el or hands to elbows. If you're in reverse namaste, I want you to open through your elbows. So don't be lax about it. Really try and open through your heart and open through your elbows. We're gonna take a medium step back with your left leg. So right leg is forward, left leg is back. And when you're ready, shift your weight to your right leg and start drawing your torso forward. I'll say it again actively bring your elbows together. You may notice as you do this, it helps to square your hips a little bit more with this hand alignment. We're gonna go four more breaths there. So even though you're working, clearly your lower body, working abs, working back, I want your focus to be on your upper body and really drawing your elbows together. Sorry, Steph. Exhale when you're ready, draw your torso up, drop that leg down. Try and keep your hands engaged in the position that they're in. Step forward with your left leg and swap it up. Step back with your right. So if you're in reverse namaste and you need to shift your hands up a little higher, go ahead and do that, but I want you to keep engaged. Inhale when you're ready, start shifting your weight to your left leg. Fall forward with your torso, pick your right leg up and let's float into 
Veer three on the other side. Same thing, you may notice. It, with this arm position that it helps to square your hips a little bit more. If you're in reverse namaste, actively draw your elbows together. So you're working through your upper body, opening through your chest. We're going two more breaths there. Steph, I even look at you and you're falling today. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then exhale, draw your torso up. Shake that out a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of work. We had a request earlier for Bujangasana, so we're gonna give that a shot. So when you're ready, step back into a down dog position, guys. Any way you wanna get there is good. And just hang out for a couple of breaths there. Start getting nice and long through the back of your legs. Let your down dog be about your upper body. So can you really relax through your upper body? Let your underarms sink down toward the mat and float back toward your ankles. So you're relaxing your shoulder blades back and down and drawing them together. Wonderful. When you're ready, relax out of that a little bit. You may want to step a little further forward with your feet. We're going to float into Bhujangasana. So you're going to inhale, look between your hands, and exhale, you're going to jump forward, very frog-like, and bring your feet in front of your hands if you can get them there. You're going to bend your elbows. You shift your sit bones right on top of your elbows. And when you're ready, try and lock your feet together in front, or you can open up into a wide angle. Fabulous work through the upper body. That's awesome. Kristen, we're gonna go five more breaths there. Nice job, Tina. And if you fall, just give it a shot again. No worries. <laughs> nice job, Cody. No worries. Looking good, Kristen. Exhale when you're ready. Go ahead and drop your feet down to the mat. You got it. And when you're ready, just go ahead and sit in a nice cross-legged position. Nice job, everybody. Some of you just plop right down. No worries. Let's go ahead and just move our arms a little bit more here. We're gonna bring right arm across, left arm grabs your right elbow, and go ahead and just get nice and long through your right arm and look over your right shoulder. You got it, just be nice and tall through your spine, nice and relaxed with your breath. We're gonna go three more breaths there. Nice, after your third breath, sweep your arms open nice and wide. Let's go same thing in the other direction. So left arm sweeps across. You can grab your left elbow with your right hand. Pull that arm long and back and look out over your left shoulder and let's go five deep breaths there. Looking good, so keep that breath nice and relaxed. Keep your torso nice and tall. Stretch through the shoulders. And exhale, go ahead and open up nice and wide again. Let's just get a nice relaxing movement in. So we're gonna drop your hands down by your side, sitting in just in any comfortable cross-legged position. We're gonna inhale, you can close your eyes if you'd like in this series. Sweep your arms up and just get nice and tall, sit bones to fingertips and exhale, sweep your hands down. So a nice easy movement to try and cool down. Inhale, sweep your arms up, get tall, sit bones to fingertips. Exhale, go ahead and sweep your hands down. Let's get three more of those in, nice and relaxed. Inhale, sweep your arms up, and I'm gonna try not to get in the middle of you guys. Exhale, go ahead and sweep your hands down, beautiful. Inhale, sweep your arms up, a nice relaxed breath, fill all the way to the top of your collarbones. Exhale, sweep your hands down, relax through your shoulders. Inhale, go ahead and sweep your arms up, extend nice and tall. And then exhale, go ahead and sweep your hands down. Nice job. We're gonna interlace your hands behind your back. On an inhale, I want you to just extend and pull your shoulder blades together. And on an exhale, you're gonna go ahead and lower down. So when you're ready, guys, inhale, go ahead and pull back. Shoulder blades are together, extend back with your hands. And exhale, go ahead and relax your hands down. Inhale, let's pull back with your hands. So you're not falling forward, you're just pulling back with your hands. Exhale, go ahead and relax. See what I'm saying there, Cody? Inhale, you're just coming back with your hands and drawing your shoulder blades together. Exhale, go ahead and relax, and let's get three more of those in. Inhale, extend back with your hands. Open through your front body, shoulder blades together. Exhale, go ahead and relax, looking good. Inhale, pull back with your hands. Open through your front body, shoulder blades together. Exhale, go ahead and relax. And inhale, extend back with your hands, shoulder blades together. Exhale, go ahead and relax. Shake that out a little bit in the arms. Nice job. Let's go ahead and interlace your hands again behind your back. This time we are gonna go for a forward fold. So you're in a nice 
cross-legged position. If you want, you can extend your legs forward into a Paschimottanasana position or a staff position. You do what feels good for you. When you're ready, inhale, extend and pull back with your hands, and then exhale, go ahead and fall forward there. Try and let your focus be on your upper body. So your arms are floating overhead. Fabulous, we're gonna go three more good breaths there. Looking good, everybody. Nice job, nice job, nice job, Tina. Relax, let me hold your arms for you. See the difference with that. So this is more about relaxing than it is pulling and extending. Wonderful, after your third breath, come on out, release. When you're ready, we're gonna come on up into a raised runner's position. We're gonna add that same arm, arm movement in with raised runners. One of my favorite poses. So when you're ready, right leg is forward, left leg is back. Once again, we're gonna interlace your hands behind your back. And I want this to be about upper body. You're working through your legs, but this is about upper body. Inhale, extend your hands back, pull long, and then exhale, fall forward. See if you can shift your weight inside your legs so your face drops down toward the mat. If you're feeling real good, see if you can draw your arms overhead and almost bring your thumbs down to the floor. Excellent, give me three more breaths there. So you're sinking down with the hips, lengthening through your upper body, through your shoulders. Yes, fabulous. Exhale, come on out, release. Step forward with your left leg. Shake that out a little bit first. Let's not float back right into it. Don't you love that one? I love that pose. We're nice and warmed up for it, so that's a really one to step into toward the end. Same thing, other side. So left leg forward, right leg back. So raised runner's lunge to start. Sink your hips down, lengthen through your right leg. When you're ready, reach behind. Interlace your hands behind your back. I want you to inhale, pull back with your hands, and then exhale, go ahead and fall forward there. I'll say it again, try and get your torso inside your left leg so your face is down toward the mat, which really intensifies the stretch through your hips, and draw your arms overhead so you're trying to get your thumbs all the way to the floor if you can get them there. Every exhale lets you sink a little more deeply into that stretch. We're going three more breaths there. I know you can do it. Wow, that's a hard one. Steph, nice job. I always think if you can let your head get to the floor, it actually makes this pose a little bit easier because it gives you a point to rest upon. <laughs> Steph goes, uh-huh. And after your third breath, sweep your torso up. You got it. Drop to a seated position. Any way you want to get there is good with me. We're gonna do a little bit of work with eagle arms. So when you're ready, right arm comes forward inside of your elbows upward and go left arm on top of right. So right arm forward, left arm on top of right. You wrap your arms around one another. Just let your spine get nice and long and we're gonna start by drawing your elbows up toward the ceiling. So we've done quite a bit of work through the front of your shoulders. I wanna give you a little bit of release here. So nice and relaxed, and this is another one of those poses. I just want you to breathe into it and relax through your breath. So if you wanna close your eyes here, feel free to do that. From there, go ahead and lower your elbows right down by your rib cage, and I want you to sweep forward with your hands. We're gonna go three more breaths there, nice and relaxed. Cody, you're so serious, man. <laughs> Beautiful, exhale, float your hands back to center, open them up nice and wide, shake that out a little bit if you need to. Let's do that same thing on the other side when you're ready. So left arm comes forward, right arm on top this time. Once again, wrap arm around arm. We're gonna start nice and straight through the spine, bring your elbows upward. Steph stretches left arm or right arm here? Right arm. So you should feel that right across the front of your right shoulder. Elbows are upward, long through the spine, calm through the breath. Breath, feel free to close your eyes there and just relax into the pose. Notice what you feel in your body. Inhale, pull the cool air right into where you're feeling that stretch. And exhale, let that area relax and release. When you're ready, elbows drop down right toward your rib cage and hands sweep forward. Beautiful, relax through the torso, long through that right shoulder. 
calm through the breath, straight through the spine. And exhale, sweep your hands up, open nice and wide. When you're ready, go ahead and lay down flat on your back. Believe it or not, we're ready for Shavasana. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga called Shavasana. This is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open, bring your hands by your sides, palms upward. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thank you for your time and hard work today. Namaste. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed.